Mary Ann Bonetti and this is a very shaded part of my patio. I'm going to talk to you about plants that do great in the shade and give you color all summer long. So this shade garden, which is also a container garden, is a mix of foliage plants like hostas here. This is hosta June. Um, and begonias. We have several kinds of begonias. We have these more tuberous begonias. We have the angel wing begonias. Uh, we even have the fibrous begonias. All these different types of begonias do great in the shade. We also have flowers from hookeras. Hookeras is another foliage plant. Hookeras can take sun, but um, um, like hostas, the hookeras and the hostas give a lot of color here. And we have fuchsias. Uh, this is a fuchsia called autumnal. Autumnal is a fuchsia that's grown for its autumn-like colors, oranges and beautiful golden colors. It's grown for its foliage more than its flowers, but we also have another upright fuchsia here, um, and this upright fuchsia with the tubular orange flowers, this fuchsia also gives color in deep shade. So you can have a lot of color in a garden that gets very little sun when you concentrate on foliage plants and begonias, and also one of my favorite annuals is this white lobelia. Lobelia comes in white, but lobelia also comes in blues and violets. Lobelia blooms great in deep shade. But there's also a tropical plant, mostly grown as a house plant, here in the Pacific Northwest. Let me show you this. It's a bromeliad. Here it is. It's a bromeliad, and I simply move it out to my window box to give a shot of orange color, because what I did in this whole garden, I kind of concentrated on using plants that have sunset colors using plants that are either orange or yellow. Um, and then another great sunset flowering plant is the coleus. You can see a coleus here, and I've used coleus in the oranges and the yellows and the lime greens to add just more color to create a whole wall of flowers using container gardens that are simply stacked from high window boxes, plants that are on stands for the mediums, and then pots that are sitting on the ground as the low plants. So, from low to medium to high, plants that love the shade, you too can have a summer patio filled with color, even if it's in the shade. This has been Marianne Bonetti, Easy Answers for Great Gardens.